Hello and welcome. I am Laura, Canva creator and ambassador, and I like to bring the simple tutorials, the little bits and pieces that look simple or look easy and you think, how on earth do they do that? I bring them to you. So I'm going to head over to my screen and I'm going to show you today what we're going to be creating. It's a bit like a, a water drop. On, a, on, a, on, an, on an image. You'll see what I mean when we head over to my screen. Right, so can you see this? This is the type of image we are going to be creating today. Um, this sort of, you have this blurred background and it, it kind of looks a bit like a water drop or we could do some other things with it. We could magnify, if you wanted to magnify something off the page, if you wanted to show something or just to have a play with Canva and how to use the different elements, this is a great one. I've done a stocking one. So you've got the blurred stockings on the fireplace and then there's the circle that really pinpoints a certain point in this design. And then the map one, which is that one, but just done as a normal droplet. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is I'm going to show you how to create these really, really simply in Canva. And the first thing we need to do is we need a blank page. So I'm going to go back to my main dashboard and I'm going to click on Instagram to just give me a blank Instagram page. OK, blank page. Now, first of all, we need our photo. We need the background photo that has a point on it that we want to bring out. On the left hand side, you should have a photo section on here. Uh, mine's here. Click on photo and then think of something that you would like to use. So for example, I'm going to type in maps and do a map one. Now there are free, there are pro. I typed in the word map. Let's have a look for one that stands out that we could use for this tutorial. Oh, these are cool. This is quite a nice one, actually. I like this one. OK, so I'm going to right click, set image as background. It instantly puts it as the full background for you. If you don't like the spacing, double click and you'll see that it brings up the whole map for you, the whole photo. So you can now move it about a bit if it's not quite right where you want it to be. Click done. We have our map. Just looking at this map, we will focus on an area within this map. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add a frame. Head over to the element section. Type in frame. It's this round one, the bog standard simple round frame. I'm going to leave it centered in the middle so you can really see how, how this tutorial works, but you can change the size of this. You can put it wherever you want. The next thing we need to do is go back to photos, find the same one, click it, drop it into the frame. Now at the moment it has resized. If I double click, it's resized for that circle. We don't want that. We want to drag it out so it's the same as the background. I'll show you what I did just there in case you missed it. I double clicked on the photo in the frame and it's opened it up like it did with the background image as well. Drag out your corners so that they reach the top line and the bottom line because that is as wide as this photo is going. And when you'll see if I do that and then just bring it along ever so slightly, it will hopefully fit as much as I possibly can so it mirrors the image behind. I'll click off of this and you can't even see that we have that circle on there. Next, we'll head over to the element section and type in bubble. Now, you don't want a normal bubble. You want one that has a see through or is transparent. Now, this one here is it's pro. Um, 
that one has as well and that's a free one that pink one there that's free that one doesn't have transparency it may be worth oh that one there slight green tinge to it that could work really well for a vintage photo and that is free but i'm going to show you with this one now as this is a photo when i try and drag it it will try and drop into my frame we don't want that click on your frame lock it and hopefully oh it's not working sometimes it won't drop into that frame because it's locked ah there we go double click your lock so it, it shows this one the other one allows you to lock the position and still edit it this one completely locks it they've, they've changed it so we've got two locks so now you can drag it over the top we want to make it a bit smaller to fit the frame underneath but obviously you can't see that frame at the moment so what you can do click on your background image and then go to edit and you want the blur effect whole image and let's change the intensity let's give it a slight blur okay go back and now if you move this off, you can kind of see there is this circle of clearness in the middle. But if you drag your element over the top, try and centralize it. Can you see, did you see the pink line that appeared there? It's because I've got it in line with the circle underneath. So if I drag this up and then I've got two pink lines, so this corner is now in line. And then if I drag this one in slowly, there you go. You see it popped in. It pops in because it's exactly the same size as the element underneath. And there you have it. There you have your bubble, your water droplet tutorial. What you can do, which I really liked to do, I did this with the map with the magnifying glass on. If I double click on my image, no, let me unlock it. If I double click on my image, I can drag it out even further to make it nice and big. And I can have it focused on one area within the design, within the image. And then I can put my bubble back over the. We must remember we have to lock this. Put my bubble back over. And it really looks like it's magnifying through that bubble. Head over to. Mag no. Head over to your element section, type magnifying glass. This one here, it is a pro one. Would that one work? No, that's not clear. This one I do like. If I delete that and bring my magnifying glass over the top, you've then got this really cool image. This would be great for whodunit games or murder mystery games where you are looking at a map. You can clearly see it's a map in the background because of the picture. You've not made it too blurry. And then we have zoomed in to a part of the map and the magnifying glass is over the top looking at a part of this map. So that's how we do this. That is how we create, let me find my original design. These ones. That's how we create this really lovely water droplet look. That one's just done on the plain map. That one's done focused on my stockings. And this is the one I was I show you in the other tutorial where you're bringing part of the map closer. There we go. What did you think? I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do go off and you have a go at creating these in Canva. So that's it from me today. Do remember to come back and follow and like my channel because we have loads of videos for you going forward.